from Metzger Financial Services, offering a complete comprehensive review of your financial portfolio. This is Your News Now Sports. Welcome to Your News Now Sports. I'm Adam Solomon. Only 21 local teams remain for tonight's high school football regional quarterfinals. That includes two MAC squads poised for a rematch. Our Dylan Tyson is on the scene with Minster and St. Henry for our pigskin preview. Adam, it's hard to forget a sloppy mud fest that was week six, especially for two of the Mac's top three passing offenses that combined for only 70 yards in that game before Minster ran away with a 12 to seven win in the final minute. So St. Henry has their eyes on revenge tonight and we start with head coach Josh Worley you put together an impressive first year. You've won five straight games since that since that loss to Minster. You're coming off the first win against a Mac foe in the playoffs in 25 years. What about the group though? The guys in the locker room has been a key to your success this first year. Uh, we are led by our uh, senior middle linebacker, Brody Schwartz. You know, he is our cultural setter, tone setter on both sides of the football. Uh, we kind of go as he goes, and, and we lean on him for a lot of things. Your team has held six straight opponents to 14 or fewer points, but four of those games have been decided by just one score. So how do you get the offense going now that the defense has really found its rhythm, especially against a Minster team that hasn't allowed 30 or more points the last two years? Yeah, it's going to be tough. Uh, their defensive line is very talented, 57-51. Uh, they give a lot of people a lot of problems, so we got to start with trying to win there. Uh, and if not, it's going to be a long night for us, so we got to try and establish uh, some wins up front. All right, well, thank you so much for your time, Coach Whirling. As we shift our focus now to Mr. Seth Whiting, and let's talk about that Week 6 matchup a little bit. So you go in with an offensive game plan, then the weather hits, and it's thrown out the window. You have 42 passing yards for offensive player of the year, Brogan Steffi, versus 59 rushing attempts. More rush attempts than pass yards. How's the offense going to look different in the rematch? Uh, you know, you do do whatever you got to do to win. Um, you know, and, our, and hats off to our kids. It's two years in a row against them um, where our kids have dealt with a little bit of adversity, a little bit of change of scheme and game plan, uh, and found a way to get it done. Um, you know, but also St. Henry's a really good football program uh, with tons of tradition, and, and Coach Whirling's doing an excellent job with them and has their kids ready to play. Defensively, as you alluded to, last year you guys won it, but it was 7-2, to two, another real good showing. What is it about the Redskin defense that has them rolling year in and year out? Uh, just, you know, I kind of compare them a little bit to Marion Local. They're they're really aggressive and physical and, and uh, make you fight for everything you get. You know, all the stunting and pressure, I think people think that stuff's to, to get hits in the backfield, but it, you're trying to force people to speed up. If people speed up, there's a higher likelihood they screw up. So, you know, I think they do a nice job of that. Well, Coach, best of luck to you tonight. Appreciate and that it. is all the time that we have. But for full coverage of football Friday night, be sure you tune in at 11. In Minster, Dylan Tyson, Your News Now Sports. Thank you, Dylan, and what a week 12 ahead of us. LCC at Columbus Grove, Marion Local and Coldwater playing host. The Western Buckeye League still well represented. Patrick Henry, Bluffton, Anna Lipstick will have highlights and scores from these games and all of our local schools in action on Football Friday night at 11:10. 